Hi, Trish here from Nail Salon Success. I'm glad you've joined me today for this Wednesday's Words of Wisdom. Now I've had some people asking about uh, uh, paperwork etc and how to organize your books in your nail salon. So I just want to say uh, a few things about that today. Now depending on how big your salon is, if it's just a one-man operation it's relatively simple to keep your bookwork in order. If you've got uh, a few people working for you, of course it's a bit more difficult because uh, you have wages and superannuation and things like that to pay. So what I would suggest is definitely whether you have staff or whether you just work for yourself, uh, definitely have an accountant. Now they don't need to be expensive and you only need to see them once a year. Uh, if you want advice during the year of course then you know that's fine too. But really all you need, if they, once they start to know you, you really only need to go once a year. Uh, some of the accountants now you don't even have to go and see, you just send all your um, bookwork in uh, via the computer and uh, they just do it for you. It is a good idea to see them though in the first place when you're setting up your business or if you are looking at a new accountant uh, because they will give you some excellent ways to reduce your tax and to make everything run a lot easier for you. Uh, some of the accounts have uh, special programs on their computers that they will um, advise you to get or will give to you so that you can enter all your data and it's a lot easier for them. Now doing your bookwork yourself is quite easy as well. Just have a record of all the money that comes in. So. You know, you need a few different um, bank accounts is probably the easiest way. So all the money that comes into your salon uh, goes in one account and then it's all traceable. Uh, and then all the money that goes out, of course. And uh, if it's the same account, great. You may have like a, a, a credit card associated with that as well. So that only the nail stuff is on that account. That makes it so much easier rather than at the end of the year when you have to highlight everything that was for your business. So that, that really makes life a lot easier. Money coming in, money going out, all on one account, nothing else on those statements. Now as far as keeping record of things, just keep, make sure you keep all your receipts. Of course, you know, that, that's uh, fairly obvious for products, etc. But there's other receipts that you can keep as well, uh, including uh, stuff for petty cash, you know, like milk and coffee and and tea and anything else that you provide your clients, uh, you know, toilet paper, tissues, uh, air freshener, all that sort of stuff. You can have that um, as petty cash and make a claim on that as well at the end of the year. So this may mean the odd item on a uh, receipt from your supermarket. Just highlight the actual item uh, that you're claiming and put it with your nail receipts. Um, now at the end of each month, or some people are a bit more uh, fastidious about it and they do it every week, but at the end of each month, um, if you just enter all the um, uh, receipts into your computer onto a spreadsheet, then at the end of the tax year, it's just so easy, it's all done. Rather than you come to the end of the tax year, you have to put your tax in and you've got this huge pile of, of receipts and you just don't know where to start. It's much easier. Just do it as you go along, um, unless you want to just pay the accountant to do it, which will cost you a few hundred dollars. It's not worth it. Just, um, just do it yourself. So that's my tip for this Wednesday's Words of Wisdom. Get yourself an accountant and just keep all those um, receipts, um, money in, money out, all in order. Keep it simple and uh, your paperwork at the end of the tax year will be really easy. I'll see you next week.